Another great day at Ellerslie. The sun has been amazing. The crowds have been flocking in. It's really a successful show for 2014. The gardens are the attraction. And here we are in front of Jade Tipu's garden. It's called Perennial Paradise, just one of the many gardens you can see. You might hear Jenny Gillies in the background, which has also been a, a huge hit here at Ellerslie. And every year at Ellerslie, one of the success stories is the New Zealand Gardener Magazine Speaker Series. It's where experts in gardening offer their free advice to you. And the timetable, what speakers speaking at what time, you can go to our Facebook page and find out more. But one gardener who's full of passion for gardening is Rude Climbpast. I was here on Monday on my bike. So I drove around when there was nobody there and I could see what was being built. And I remember thinking at the time, there are some stunning displays here. Ben Hoyle, you've got to see that on the bike. Why? Because you can see, you can see, can't see, see, can't see, it's like a kaleidoscope. Love the way he hides stuff, you know? But my, my favorite thing is when you walk here now, there's nobody without a smile on their face. I mean, you work with nature, you work with plants, you work with bugs, you work with birds, you work with the earth. You can't help but smile. And the third observation for me right now, I mean, just being here for half an hour is, there's a street there which is built by kids. Just think about it. We've got climate change or climate disruption. We've got people needing to grow food because we're starting to look at nine billion people in about a couple of decades. Here is our next generation learning about growing food, putting things together, plants together, putting gardens together, and capturing carbon dioxide from the air. Sorry, does that sound scientific? Don't think so, but these kids are onto it. We need them to look after this planet. Guess what? Alice Lee's doing that too. Love it. Speaker series is very simple. I do my old talk, the value of biodiversity, how to murder your plants more slowly. Are these things pests or do we need them in the garden? Yes, they might make holes, but hey, they're feeding all the white, white eyes and other birds and are the basis of a whole ecological system and food chain. So I try to make people look differently at bugs and things in the garden. And I sing the praises of the best group of organisms on the planet. Fungi. Fungi! Don't get me started. Have you got half an hour? Can I talk to you about fungi? Get in there, speak a series. Every day except Sunday, I think I'll be there. Just something, this is about nature. We, we, we need this stuff. We need nature around us. We need all these processes. We need all this, how do you call it? Ecosystem services. That's what it is about. I love Rude's passion for gardening. It's infectious. Something else that when you come down to Ellerslie, you have to check out is the Interflora Young Apprentice Florist of the Year. It's a tough competition. So let's go and catch up with a few of those young apprentices now to see how they're getting on. I'm finding it, the competition great, actually. I'm really enjoying it. We had um, first day of real competitions today, and we had a surprise box from Smeg, which was really exciting, with fruits and vegetables and stuff in it. And this morning we did a planted arrangement, which was quite neat. My design that I did matched what I did in the end, so I was quite chuffed. I'm most looking forward to doing the body flowers. I think that'll be really exciting. I got a silver award for my shop display from the Ellerslie Flower Show, so I was well chuffed with that. The competition is awesome. I love it. Um, I don't know. These other girls, I'm a little bit of a senior as well. I feel a little bit weird about that because I'm quite young. <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. The other girls are bringing the play, so we'll see. We've been making uh, potted plant arrangements, which is very exciting, and a surprise box for Smeg. Smeg's surprise box had an apron, which you had to use and show off the logo, and some capsicums, a cucumber, and a piece of corn. So you had to incorporate that into your design with the flowers. I'm looking forward to the bridal bouquet and getting results back from the judges. <laughs> well, competition's been pretty cool so far. It's quite stressful, but, um, it is a lot different to what we do at work, so um, it does challenge us quite a bit, but it's a good experience and it is quite fun. Um, we had to make an arrangement out of some suitcases because our shops were themed on book flowers in the attic. Um, hence the reason some of us have attics as backdrops and stuff. And um, This week I'm most looking forward to probably the more surprise boxes we're getting. It's quite fun just being put on the spot and not knowing what we're doing. 
but I'm looking forward to the rest of the week. It's going to be a good week. So I'm finding the competition good. Um, it's good to just get started and know that you can carry on for the rest of the week. Now that it's, you know, the anticipation's over, you know, kind of what you're in for, what you're doing. The smeg box was quite cool. I was thinking, like, being smeg, I was like, what will we get that will relate to flowers? But it was quite cool to get some vegetables and be able to do something a little bit different than usual. When you come down to Ellerslie, there's still plenty of time to catch up with the young florists as they make their way through this tough competition. There are 13 events they've got to complete in the five days, with the winners announced on the Sunday afternoon. So the floral art marquee is definitely a must-see at this year's Ellerslie. But of course it's about the gardens, so let's finish up today with a look at a few of our favourite gardens.